Hey everyone, welcome back to Once Upon a Page. And as you can see, we have a very special video for you guys today. It We are celebrating Heather's new release, Yay! Take Yay! That. Yay! And so today we wanted to celebrate her and she's going to tell you a little bit about the book and show you the fun cover. It's so pretty. And explain why I why dress she's, like this. Why she is wearing an apron. Um, well, cake that, obviously, that gives you a clue as to why I'm wearing an apron. But Libby, my main character, really likes funky, old-style, retro aprons, things like that. And um, so I had a very special, talented friend <laughs> sew up some funky aprons. This is so cute. They are cute. And I'm gonna have these displayed, at, and I'm probably just cut off my head standing up there. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> sorry if I did. But uh, I'm gonna have all the aprons she made for me, plus some others, at my launch party. Um, I will be having some live events in the launch party, some Facebook live events. So if you follow me on Facebook, you can get in on the fun there, even if you can't come to the actual in-person launch event and see all the decorations and the cool things we're going to be doing and this is a picture of the book i don't have my books yet i did just get an email that they have shipped so i should have them Yay! before the party which is always a good thing <laughs> but here is that so, so cute and if i don't know if that showed up right or not but um if not i will cut in a picture of it so that you can see it and it is the story of Libby Miller and when she goes to compete on Cake That for a million dollar grant. Nope, sorry, no. $100,000 grant. It would be awesome if it, it would be so cool to win a million dollars. Um, yes. But no, she, she was not winning a million dollars. Uh, $100,000 grand prize and the nine other contestants that she has to spend time both in the kitchen and in the show's mansion. Um, trying to get along and all the different personalities there and a little bit of a romance and possibly a little bit of hitch in that romance and also a little bit of sabotage maybe possible <laughs> sabotage um and so i'm going to read from the beginning so i don't give too much away but this is where libby and her friend tabitha that she's also roommates with are getting ready to um, pack her up so that she can go be on cake that. Tabitha secured tape over the cardboard box they had already filled. I'd forgotten how much fun packing is. Reminds me why I don't go anywhere. Libby smirked as she stood by the closet trying to figure out which items should fill the second box. Hey, I was finishing breakfast while you were still snoring in the other room. A pillow came out of nowhere. Libby barely had time to swat it away before it hit her square in the face. I do not snore. Believe me, you do. <laughs> As co-inhabitant of this house, I have had many opportunities to marvel at your nasal talents. You're no picnic either, I'll have you know. You use all the hot water every time you shower and can't cook a decent meal to save your life. Who would have thought a competitor on Cake That would fall apart completely when she has to do anything in the kitchen besides bake? Libby's kitchen failures were no secret. Within two weeks of living together, they had agreed to modify their cooking arrangement. Desserts and breakfasts were her domain, but Tabitha did the heavy lifting for dinner. If the other bakers on Cake That ever found out her secret, she'd be laughed off the set. I can't believe it's here already. Libby pushed the apron pushed an apron draped hanger out of the way. I'm probably gonna die of embarrassment, but who cares, I'll be on television. You have to take this one. Tabitha reached into the closet and removed a retro inspired apron. It's my favorite. The subtle brown, aqua, and white pinstripe material sported a ruffle of brown with white polka dots along the top and bottom edges. The same material created the apron's deep pockets and contrasted perfectly with the simple aqua ribbons that tied it around her waist. I wouldn't dream of leaving it behind. Livy took the apron and folded it neatly into the cardboard box sitting on the edge of her bed. Can you rummage through my top drawer to find the matching headband while I keep looking? While her friend sifted through a drawer full of headbands that coordinated with her collection of aprons, 
Livy pulled a red and white polka dotted apron out of the closet. Its sweetheart neckline was trimmed with a tiny ruffle of cotton and the waist tied with a simple white bow. While you're at it, grab the red and white headband that matches this one. She paused mid-fold. You don't think it's too many polka dots, do you? Tabitha laughed as she continued to sift through the endless tangle of material in the drawer. You're in trouble if too many polka dots is against their dress code. I think that's 90% of what you've got in there. I'm a polka dot girl, Livy shrugged. What can I say? They're too cute. They do garner attention. Tabitha's brows raised as she shook her head. That's for sure, so I think I'll stick with something a little more sedate. You need to live a little. Livy plucked a black and white headband from the drawer and held it up to Tabitha's long blonde hair. Please, Livy snatched the band from... Tabitha snatched the band from Livy's grasp. I live just fine, thank you. I'm simply not the life of the party like you are. Oh, don't put that back. She giggled as she retrieved the band from Tabitha. I think I'm going to take the matching apron with the purple trim and bow. With the ones I packed last night, I'll have 10 sets. That's one for each episode of the show. Is it too much? For me, yes. For you, absolutely not. They choose people with personality and you have it to spare. The audience and judges are gonna fall in love with you. Livy struck a superwoman pose with fists on her hips and head held high. What's not to love? She laughed as Tabitha rolled her eyes at the theatrics. Tabitha's mom always said they were as different as night and day, but they brought out the best in each other. Too bad she couldn't take Tabitha with her on the show. A tendril of fear spiraled through her. What if I don't win? Don't start that again. Tabitha ran the packing tape over the box to secure the flaps. You're good enough to win, Livy. But what if I don't? I know the show is taping during the slow season, but I usually still have orders for customers' holiday events. It pays the bills when people don't want to stand in the cold for a cupcake. If I don't win the truck, you're going to do great. Tabitha placed a hand on each of her shoulders, making Livy look her in the eye. I can't promise you'll win, but I think you will. You're the best. Besides, God knows what you need. He'll take care of it. I know you're right. I've got to stop worrying about this. I prayed about it before I sent in the audition tape. I prayed about it before accepting. Now I've got to trust. I only wish it were easier. Tabitha's eyes shut and Livy followed suit. A prayer was coming. Her friend was a prayer warrior like no one she'd ever met, and Livy might be the life of the party in their friendship, but Tabitha was the anchor that held them steady. Lord, be with Livy on this new adventure. Help her to do her best and be a light to those she meets. Let her compete with grace and confidence in the abilities you've given her. No matter what the outcome, let her know without a doubt that you're in control and taking care of her. You've laid out the path she's to take and you will continue to do so after the show ends. Grow her and bless her through this opportunity. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace settled over Libby. She could almost see her friend's prayer lifting to the throne room of heaven where God caught it to himself. Libby offered her own silent prayer of thanks for giving her a friend as strong in her faith as Tabitha. Before the amen, she added a quick prayer asking God to grow the same kind of faith in her own life. Better? Yeah, much better, thank you. Libby smiled and glanced at the clock on her wall, but now I've got to get going. Are you sure you don't mind taking my boxes to the post office for me? It's not a problem. You worry about being careful on the drive out to California. I'll make sure your clothes and stuff are waiting at your home away from home when you get there. Livy pulled her in for a tight hug. You're the best. I know. Tabitha pulled away, placed her dramatic hand on her chest, and rolled her eyes. Who could compare? Now get out of here or you won't have time to sightsee on your trek across the country. She couldn't stop the smile stretching across her face as she grabbed her keys and a mint green helmet from her nightstand before waving goodbye one last time. Here goes nothing. I love, I love this story. It just makes me so happy. Like everything about it, it just, just makes me happy. And I've actually been blessed to be able to read it twice now. I got to read it in the very first baby stages. Mm -hmm. And I literally went to bed, gave up on sleeping, got out of bed and went back and read for another hour because I wanted to know what happened next. Aww. She has this way of telling the story that it just, it makes you like want to just keep reading and reading and reading because every chapter 
you don't know who gets kicked off the show until you turn and read the next chapter and you're like, oh, the suspense is killing me. I want to know. I want to know. It is so good though. And I just, I love how you, you didn't have to tell us a whole lot about all the characters, but you gave us enough that we could picture them. You know, I definitely had my favorites writing them and the ones that I was like, <laughs> I knew who I was creating when I made, there, there's one character that I will share. Um, he's a polarizing character. <laughs> Pick up the book. You'll, you'll know right away who he is. And he comes from, my husband and I would watch Food Network shows and, and things like that. And there was this one person that inspired such a reaction in me every time I watched it. I'm not going to tell you what kind of reaction, but a, a very strong, definite reaction every time I watched it. And that went into the creation of this character. Um, I know you probably know which one I'm talking about. I totally I'm still reading. Okay. Yeah, so we won't ruin anything for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. ruin anything. No, yeah. no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> Okay, so Libby rides a motorcycle, mm -hmm. wears polka dotted aprons with headbands that match, <laughs> and has a streak of teal blue hair. Mm -hmm. Are you anything like Libby in real life? I bake. Okay. Um, I do enjoy decorating cakes, although I don't do it to the extent she does. I had right. to do research on different aspects of um, the baking part of it when I wrote the book. Mm -hmm. Um, I do not have a teal stripe of hair, although I, I would love to have the personality to be able to do that. I just don't. Um, I do kind of like the funky aprons and, and things like that. That's kind yes. of, I, I enjoy that kind of um, retro mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily in how I dress every day, but in certain aspects of my life, I like that retro look. And uh, motorcycles, I like the way they look. Uh, since I had kids, I don't really get on them very much, uh, like ever. Um, Have and you I, ever ridden one? Mm -hmm. Okay. My husband had always had one when we were dating in the early years of marriage, and he just got a Riker, which is like one of the ones with two wheels in front and one in mm -hmm. back. And he's dying for me to ride it with him, and mm -hmm. I just haven't done it yet. You should. Um, the streak in her hair. She's yeah, going to be on yeah. that. Yeah. I can the, see it. The motorcycle, though, was not quite secure enough for me. Yeah. I did not like that feeling of absolutely zero mm -hmm. control. Mm -hmm. So that did not work well for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know you're doing a lot of party stuff. Mm -hmm. So tell us how we can participate. Besides the, the launch party, what else are you doing? Um, I will probably have things going on on my Facebook page and my YouTube page um, for the week leading up to. I hope to be able to do some baking tutorials with some of the, nice. almost like nail it or fail it kind of thing, mm -hmm. where um, there are things I've not tried before and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Could be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> you may see my embarrassment. Um, so I'm doing that. I'll be doing uh, some live things on Facebook on the day of the launch and um, in the week leading up to the launch. So okay. and it launches on uh, releases on July sixth. Awesome. And giveaways. I will be doing some. Yes, and um, I know for sure I will have at least one funky apron to give away to somebody who is not in person at my event as well. So. Nice. nice. So be sure to check all that out because it's going to be a party for sure. It will be. Be a lot of fun. And it, it'll have cake, you know. Who doesn't love cake? <laughs> I love cake. <laughs> well, I know you're excited too, just from all of this. So be sure to check out Heather's book, check out all of her events and videos and, and fun things that she is posting. Like our video, share it with anybody you think would love a cake inspired book. Cause let me tell you, it's so good. <laughs> it's just so good. I love this book. Um, and then um, 
make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future posts and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.